Adobe Animate CC introduces a way for us to create VR content. To create VR content, go to start a new document like you normally would, but now click all the way down here on the far right, the advanced tab. And this will bring up a whole new set of documents that uh, you can choose from. And the one we want to select is the VR panorama document type. My document happens to be set up so that it is 6,000 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. Now I'm going to hide all these layers and just kind of walk you through what each layer does and what they contain. So the very bottom layer is the sky layer. It's just a simple linear gradient. You'll notice in this type of document here in the timeline panel that there's a new button called Create Texture Wrapping for Layer. You want to convert a layer to a texture layer if it contains artwork that is not animated. These are just clouds, artwork that was drawn inside of Animate. This layer contains the buildings that are furthest in the background and that has been converted to a texture layer. Uh, Midground layer has more buildings, just a little bit with a little bit more detail, a little bit bigger. And here are um, more buildings and structures with more detail, but a little bit closer to us. As you can see, again, another texture layer. These are the buildings in the very, very foreground. Um, so now the animated content. I'm going to start with these birds. And you can see if I pan over and zoom in a little bit. And so what this is is a movie clip that contains an animation of just a looping bird flying. And on the main timeline, I'm using a classic tween to send that bird across the entire scene. And so I duplicated this layer and scaled the bird up a little bit, placed it more in the foreground in front of some buildings to get a little bit of a sense of depth between the two birds. And here is our main character, our elephant. And again, just another movie clip with a walk cycle loop. I'm just using a classic tween to move that movie clip through the scene from right to left in the opposite direction of the birds. And the reason for this building that was added very, very large and close up in the foreground is to add this dancing man character on the roof. And again, just another movie clip with this animation that's happening. And so then the last thing to do is go to control, test movie in browser. So now animate is exporting the web GL VR content and opening it up in an HTML page um, in your default browser. The neat thing is the viewer can now click and drag to explore this content. So yet another great new feature of animate CC, the ability to create engaging and interactive VR content.